our YouTube channel, Math with Jeeva. So this is a continuation of our topic, Algebra, and this is the third video. In this video, I am planning to discuss about brackets and how to simplify algebraic expressions with brackets and how to solve uh, algebraic equations with brackets. So I am planning to discuss few examples to each topic for your easy reference. Right, so let's get started. Question number one. And before starting, I want to tell you something, children. So, especially uh, when you are watching algebra lesson, what you want to do, better to keep your papers together with your pen. While I am explaining, you pause the video for a moment after listening to me, then you do your that sum by yourself. So, uh, don't wait till the end of this video to practice everything, then and there you can practice the sums I am doing here. I am explaining here. Right. So question number one. Four times bracket x plus three. Right. Children, look at this. How you can simplify this? So look at this. What does this mean? So, this 4 belongs to x and 3. So, that means the whole bracket. So, what I am doing, 4 times x, what is the answer? 4x. Then, 4 times 3, what is the answer? 12. And think about the sign. Plus 4, plus 3, answer is plus 12. So, this is the final answer after simplifying this algebraic expression. So, we'll move to the second one. Look at this. 2 times 3x minus 5. Now, look at this. You want to do the same thing and one thing. In the exam, you don't want to show arrows like this. I drew arrows for you to understand what I did. In this question also, I use arrows. Look at this. Uh, how can I get the answer after simplifying 2 times 3x? It is 6x, then 2 times minus 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times minus 5 is minus 10. Hope everybody understood. You want to uh, pay attention for the sign. 2. So, 2 times minus 5, it is minus 10. Right. Now, let's move to question number 3. It's a little bit longer. So far, what happened? We had only one bracket. So, we'll move to the third one. There, you have two brackets. Now, look at this. 2 times x minus 3. Uh, then, plus 4 times bracket 3 minus 2x. Okay, children. Now look at this. What you want to do when you have this type of question, first you think about this portion, then you can think about this portion separately. You can solve the bracket first of all before simplify. So we'll do that here. I don't use arrows. Straight away we'll try to get the answer. 2 times x, it is 2x. Then 2 times minus 3, it is minus 6. 4 times 3 plus 12. Then 4 times minus 2x, it is minus 8x. Right? Now, can you simplify this further? Yes. We have like terms here and there. So, we'll write them together. So, how can you write 2x minus 8x? Minus 6 plus 12. Right? Now tell me. I explained this part in the previous video too. Plus 2x minus 8. Plus 2 minus 8. So you have two different signs. Then what you want to do? You want to get the difference of these two numbers. 8 and 2. What is the difference children? It is 6. And how about the sign? Sign should be this. Why? Because the higher value sign. So, it should be minus. So, minus 6x again minus 6 
plus 12. Two different signs. You want to get the difference. Difference between 6 and 12 is 6. And how about the sign? It should be plus. Then you can keep the uh, keep this answer as the final answer. But I prefer this one. Look at this. 6 minus 6x. You can keep the final answer like this y without writing a negative value here first. So I just change the position of them. So 6 minus 6x. Hope everybody understood what we did. The, yes, we have two brackets. So to simplify this algebraic expression, first of all, we simplify these two brackets. Then we collect like terms together. Then finally, this is the answer after simplify. Okay. So now let's go to question number four for that. Now I'm going to introduce you algebraic equations with bracket. Then we'll learn how to solve algebraic equations with bracket. Right. Okay, then you want to solve this algebraic equation. Question number four. Three times bracket four minus x equals to nine. So this is an algebraic equation, right? To solve this algebraic equation and to find the value of x, what you want to do, children, first of all, you want to solve the bracket. How can you solve the bracket? 3 times 4, 12, and 3 times minus x, minus 3x, and this is 9. Now, what you can do? Now, you have done these type of questions, so we discuss them. In the previous video, how you can do, you keep 12 as it is and bring this plus 9 to this side. What happened? It is minus 9 now. This minus 3x will go to the other side as plus 3x. 12 minus 9 answer is 3. Then 3 equal to 3 times x. I expanded it to show you how this 3 is there. That side to bring to this side what happened to him. So I wanted to show that. Then I want to keep x alone. Then I I should bring this plus 3 to this side. It is a multiplication. When he is coming to this side, what happened? 3 divided by 3 equal to x. Then 1 equal to x. But this is not familiar for me to write the final answer. I will write it like this. x equals to 1. So this is my final answer or the value of x. Okay? Right. So we will move to next one. Question number five. So this is very similar to earlier one. Three times bracket one minus four x equals to eleven. So this is very similar to earlier example. Now tell me to find the value of x. First of all, you want to solve the bracket because here we have a bracket. So how can you solve the bracket? Three times one. 3, then 3 times 4x, it is minus 12x, 3 times minus 4, should be minus 12 and 11. So, how can you do this? 3, this 11 come to this side as minus 11, and this minus 12 will go to the other side as plus 12x. Now, what happened? 3 minus 11. So, what will be the answer? Tell me. So, it should be minus 8. Children, plus 3 minus 11. Two different signs. You want to get the difference of these two numbers, 3 and 11. What is the difference? It is 8. And how about the sign? So, you want to take uh, the sign of 11. So, that is minus. So, minus 8 equal to 12 times x. Right? Then... Minus 8 divided by 12 equals to x. Why? Because this multiplication 12 will come to the other side as division. Then can you simplify this? Yes. 4 times 2, 4 times 3. Then minus 2 over 3 equal to x. So this is not the familiar way. x equal to minus 
two over three. So this is the final answer. Hope everybody understood. What you want to do? First you solve the bracket. Then, so as usual, you solve the algebraic equation. So we'll move to the last question. Right? Okay. So it's a little bit longer. Question number six. I'll start from here. Um, look at this carefully because this is the last question. 2x minus 1 equal to 5 times bracket 3x minus 2. Children, now what happened? So earlier we had bracket in one side. Now in this question, we have brackets in both sides. So what you want to do, wherever the side, you don't want to worry. What you want to do before finding the value of x, you want to solve the bracket. So how you can solve the bracket? 7 times 2x. It is 14x minus 7 times 1 minus 1. It is minus 7. 5 times 3x. It is 15x. 5 times minus 2. It is minus 10. Now what you want to do? We solved this type of question in the previous video. How can you do that children? This 14x you keep as it is and you'll, uh, you ask. To this 15x to come to this side, what happened to his side? It becomes minus 15x, then minus 10, you write as it is, and this minus 7 will come to the other side as plus 7. Okay, right. 14x minus 15x. So that means plus 14 minus 15 two different signs you want to get the difference difference between 14 and 15 it is 1 1 x and how about the sign it should be minus minus 1 x equal to again minus and plus two different signs you want to get the difference difference between 10 and 7 it is 3 and how about the sign minus 3 now here they have given minus 1x value. I don't want to find the uh, value of my minus x. Instead I want to find the value of x. So what can I do? This minus 1x means what children? Minus 1 times x equal to minus 3. x equal to minus 3 divided by minus 1. You know 3 divided by 1 answer is 3. Minus divided by minus the answer should be plus 6. Okay. So, oh, everybody understood this. What we discussed, we discussed about brackets and how we can simplify the algebraic expressions with brackets and how we can solve the algebraic equations with brackets. So, this is not the end. I told you when I was starting this algebraic series, it will be a longer series. So, day by day from one video to another video, we are moving step by step. So, what you want to do at the end of the day, you will cover everything about algebra. But uh, then and there, you want to practice all the examples what I am discussing here. So, children will meet again with the continuation of this le le lesson. Till then, see you.